Welcome back everyone, it's David again from your Honda Reviews, and today we have something exciting to look at, and that's the newly announced 13 inch HP Spectre X360. The HP Spectre X360 is an absolutely gorgeous laptop, premium as well as thin, light and easy to carry around. It's also a 2-in-1 laptop that can convert into a tablet. It's also EVO certified, and that means that the laptop slash tablet device is powered by an 11th gen Core i7 1165G7 CPU processor, which is fast enough to wake from sleep in less than a second and supports fast charging. Other noticeable features also include Wi-Fi 6 support and up to 15 hours of battery life, reportedly. This HP Spectre is one of the most attractive laptops you can buy, with gem cutting edges highlighting its CNC machined aluminum chassis. The accents, though, are what makes the Spectre stand out from the legions of other black laptops out there. With that in mind, there is no flex on the bottom of the chassis and no keyboard wobble on a flat surface. It's bold without being overly obnoxious and also the 360 degree hinge which allows the screen to flip back completely, turning the HP Spectre X360 into a tablet-like device which feels solid and really reliable. In terms of connections, you get an audio in jack, full-size USB port on the right, plus two USB-C ports as well, a micro SD port, and also a physical webcam kill switch on the left. And also included in the box, HP includes a leather sleeve to protect the Spectre in transit that adds some excellent value. Once you open up the HP Spectre, you're presented with a bright and vibrant screen, also surrounded by extremely thin bezels. The 13.3 inch 1080p ISP touchscreen gives the device a modern look while keeping the overall size of the laptop down. Colors are rich, vivid and saturated and fine details are sharp. One little negative though is that the screen is a fingerprint magnet due to its glossy surface. As the name suggests, the Spectre X360 is also a convertible laptop, whose touchscreen can rotate 360 degrees into a tablet mode. The hinges are easy to fold back, but they are just strong enough to prevent the screen from moving much when tapped. The webcam is nothing extraordinary, and sadly is just a regular 720p camera. Though, the Windows Hello IR sensor is exceptionally fast. And with a touch of a button, a shutter covers the camera to ensure absolute privacy. There is also a fingerprint scanner on the bottom right of the laptop which is used to log into the machine as well. The Spectre X360 also has one of the best keyboards you'll find on a laptop today. As for the typing experience, it's rather good. The bass is sturdy and keys are snappy without feeling overly rigid and it's quiet as well. The trackpad is quite large, though it's still relatively short due to it being 16x9. The texture is smooth and with very little sticking when gliding at slow speeds for accurate cursor control. The Bang & Olufsen tuned speakers on the Spectre X360 are powered by an array of four firing drivers. The speakers are loud and they're clear and creating a pretty solid media consumption experience but as always it's fine for what it's worth but at the end of the day if you want something clear, you know, I would put a Bluetooth speaker attached to it. Speaking of noise, the fan noise is not that bad at all and it only kicks in during heavy loads. Even then, not so loud to be noticed by others around you, and overheating has not been a concern as well. The temperature never really ventured above and beyond 80 to 75 degrees Celsius, and when the fans kicked in for a minute or two, the temperature stabilized around to below 50 degrees Celsius. Speaking about performance, the HP Spectre X360 that was sent to me includes an Intel Core i7 CPU and 16 gigs of RAM. The CPU is a quad-core chip with 8 threads from the Tiger Lake family. Tiger Lake is Intel's second generation 10 nanometer family, so this process has been refined quite a bit compared to their first gen. This refinement has shown me a lot in regards to battery life, and doing regular work, I get at least 8 hours out of it. Although I wasn't able to stretch it to 13 hours, you can achieve it if you knock down your battery level to battery saver and also drop down your display brightness below 50. Doing so, you would get a more modest 10 hours of battery use out of this laptop, which meets Intel's Evo certification. For benchmarks, I used Geekbench 5 and I was able to reach around 1300 on the single core score and also 3700 on the multi-core as well. Really great for an ultra portable laptop. While equally impressive was the ability to render out and edit 4K videos on Adobe Premiere in record time, especially considering that this is a thin and light. 
It also includes the new Iris XE graphics, which you can play full HD games on this machine and it's pretty impressive. Just make sure to play at mediums to low settings to get playable frame rates, but nonetheless it was really good even playing Rocket League on this machine. You can also attach a dedicated graphics card via Thunderbolt 4. That's a major benefit of Thunderbolt, which is more or less exclusive to Intel PCs. Overall, the HP Spectre X360 delivers the goods when it comes to the sheer performance and battery life, while crushing CPU loads with ease while serving up all day battery life. So if flexibility and performance in a laptop are important to you, then the HP Spectre X360 is a solid choice. With that being said, if you want a convertible tablet slash laptop, then the HP Spectre X360 is in a league of its own. So this brings me to the end of my review of the HP Spectre X360. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already, then please smash that like button for the good old YouTube algorithm. It helps us a ton and supports the channel. Also, please subscribe and join us on our Discord channel for the latest trends in tech. This is David from Real Hard Reviews, signing out.